Good morning, today let's compare two React form handling libraries, Formic and React Hook Form. We'll use the login form from the previous video as an example, and also we will add the form validation to it. This form is not going to send any data to the server when you click login, it will alert the login and password. Right now we handle this login form using hooks. We have a state hook for login and for password fields. We pass this state as a value to our inputs and we track the on change event to update the value of login and password. As you can see, we have two inputs, one for login, one for password, a label for each of them and a submit button saying login. Let's rewrite this form to Formic. First, we install Formic package, yarn, add Formic and import use Formic hook from Formic. Import use Formic from Formic. Formic has two ways of using it, using the components like form and field or using hooks like use Formic. In this video we will compare the hook version. Now let's remove the state and on change handlers. Remove login and password state. Let's comment out the contents of on submit function. Remove on change and value from the login input and from the password input. Now let's initialize Formic. Use Formic hook returns a bunch of values. Let's destructure them. Const handle submit handle change and values equals use formic. And here we will pass a bunch of options. First, we pass initial values. It will be an object with login, empty string, and password, also empty string. Then we can define the on submit function. On submit is a function that receives values, and inside of it, we won't need to call event prevent default. Formic will do it automatically. So we can copy this commented out string and get values for login and for password. We can shorten it by destructuring the values login and password. Now we need to pass handle submit to form on submit callback handle submit. We remove our on submit handler. We pass handle change to on change handlers of both inputs on change equals handle change and we pass value from values and then specific field values login and values password. Let's open our app in the browser and see if it works. Test test one two three and it still alerts the values. Now let's add validation. We're gonna use yup to validate our fields so let's install it. Yarn add yup. Now import yup in the login form. Import asterisk as yup from yup. We can remove the old use state and now we can pass the validation schema to the formic. Validation schema is yup object. Then we pass our fields. We have login. It is yup string that has maximum 10 symbols. And the message for it will be login must be shorter than 10 characters. And it is required with an error message required. And then we have password. It is also yup string minimum length of six password should be longer than six characters and it's also required we want to validate all the touched fields so we need to get the touched list from formic and also we need a list of errors so we get errors as well and now below each input we say that if touched login and errors login then we render a div with the value of errors login otherwise we render null and we do the same for password but we change login to password we need to pass forming handle blur to on blur handler let's get it from the use formic call handle blur and pass it to our inputs blur handle blur and same for the login field now let's open the app and see how it works we enter some login that is longer than 10 symbols and we get the error. Login must be shorter than 10 characters. Let's enter the shorter login test and now we enter password. If we just blur out the input, you will see password is required field. So we enter 123, 123. Everything is fine and now we can log in. Okay, this is how Formic works. Now let's rewrite this to React Hook Form. Install React Hook Form, yarn add react hook form i'm gonna start over with only the layout first we import the use form use form from react hook form then we call the use form to get register it's a ref use form uses refs to manage your inputs 
So we get register and handle submit equals use form. We pass register as a ref to our inputs. Ref equals register. And then we pass handle submit to on submit. And we wrap our on submit function into handle submit from React hook form. Handle submit equals on submit. Now we don't need to call event prevent default. React hook form will do it automatically. And we can destructure the values object that we will get in on submit handler to login and password. Now we can alert login and password. Let's see if it still works. Test, test, one, two, three, login. Yes, it still works. In React hook form, you can also use UP for form validation. We will need to pass a validation schema option to our use form hook call. I'm gonna copy the validation schema from formic example. Then I go back to React hook form and paste it here. Import asterisk as UP from UP. Now we also need to get a list of errors. And to handle errors on Blur, we will need to pass another option to use form, which is called mode, and it should be on Blur. Now we can go to our layout. Below each input, we check if errors login, then we render a div with errors login message. And same for the password. Errors password, and then we render errors password message. Let's test the validation. Let's enter the login that is too long, blur the input. We got the error message. Let's fix it. And now we enter the password to three. And on blur, it shows the error message. Let's enter the valid password and login. And we get the values. Next time, let's review custom form field components in Formic and React Hook form. If you like this idea, press like button and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments which library do you prefer, React Hook form or Formic. If you work with React, you probably also need to test your components. I've prepared a free React testing checklist. The link is in the description. You can also join my Discord server to pick the topics for the next videos. See you next time.